Avoid the trap. Double comparatives and superlatives. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today we'll be exploring a tricky area of English grammar. Double comparatives and superlatives. These are common errors that can slip into our speech and writing, but understanding and recognizing them can greatly improve our command of the English language. Before we dive into the mistakes, let's quickly revisit what comparatives and superlatives are. A comparative is used to compare two things, people, or states. We typically add er to short adjectives to make them comparative, or use more with longer adjectives. For example, tall becomes taller and beautiful becomes more beautiful. On the other hand, a superlative is used when we compare three or more things, people, or states. Short adjectives get est added to the end, or we use most with longer adjectives. For example, tall becomes tallest and beautiful becomes most beautiful. Now, Double comparatives and superlatives are when we mistakenly use both forms of comparison together. A common double comparative error is saying something like, more faster. Here, more, and the, er, ending on, faster, are both trying to make the comparison. So we have one too many comparatives. The correct form would simply be, faster. A common double superlative error might be, most tallest. Like with the comparative, the most and the est ending on tallest are both trying to make the comparison, so one has to go. The correct form would be tallest. Like most things in English, there are exceptions to the rule. For example, some might argue that phrases like more complete or most perfect are double superlatives. But in these cases, more and most can be used to emphasize the extent of the completeness or perfection, making these phrases acceptable in certain contexts. It's also worth noting that in informal, colloquial English, double comparatives and superlatives are sometimes used for emphasis, although they're generally considered grammatically incorrect. You might hear phrases like, more better, or most biggest. While these aren't technically correct, they're used conversationally to strongly emphasize a point. That's all for today's lesson on double comparatives and superlatives. Remember, while the English language is full of exceptions and colloquialisms, it's essential to know the rules to communicate effectively and professionally. Stay tuned for more in-depth discussions on English grammar, and as always, keep practicing. Your mastery of English is getting more impressive each day. See you in our next video.